hey guys welcome back so in this video we're gonna go ahead and see how we can document our Django REST framework API such that when we are done working on our backend we can avail that to people and other people can understand how to interact with our API in the real scenario whenever you work on a REST API you want to provide a documentation that can be used by other developers to know how they can interact with the API you built for example, if you had someone that was making a mobile app for the API we are, we've been making, then they don't really need to know about how that API was made. For them, they just need to know how can I make a request to the backend server? How can I make a request to basically the API? So for us to be able to provide that documentation, we have certain tools that we can use, but in our case, we are going to be using Swagger. So what Swagger is going to be doing is we are basically going to describe how our application is structured and then it should be able to generate this documentation automatically for us so let's go ahead and get started now we're going to be using this drf yasig um, module so we're going to need to install it so i'm going to come over here and copy this command to install it and in our app then we can do tip install drf yasig now make sure you're in your virtual environment Otherwise, it will not work. The next thing you're going to need to do is add DRF YASIG to our installed apps. And I think you may notice here is we are going to need to make sure we have the static files app in our installed apps. That's because DRF YASIG, of course, will give us a UI that uses HTML and CSS. And this is an app that Django provides that can enable serving uh, those static files like HTML and CSS. So we're going to make sure that we also have that. So in our settings.py, so I'm going to go to settings.py. Now, if we go to our installed apps, first we want to add the module just installed. Also, make sure you have this. Let's come back to the documentation. So basically what we need to do is describe some metadata about our API. So I'm going to copy this and go to our urls.py. Let's also first get it here, then we can take a look at it. So on the schema view, we can first describe what our API is, who is it for. So I'm going to change this one to, to do API, but feel free to change this to your liking or depending on the application you're working on, of course, these are going to be different. So also we need to define the URL from which it's going to be served on. So I'm going to get these URLs here and we're going to talk about how they differ in a minute. So I'm going to bring them down here. Then I'm going to change url to path and uh, wherever we have this i'm gonna change it to to use just the the string and also i'm going to remove this remove these ampersands over here we don't need them so if we go back to our website now you can see we have these urls so i'm gonna go to slash swagger like this and the reason why we're getting forbidden is because we configured our application here in the settings if i could show you so in our rest framework we had configured our our application to use jwt authentication and that's why this is defaulting to forbidden so what we want is if you go here in the docs you can see that we can also be able to supply the authentication classes so i'm going to copy that authentication classes and here in the urls can go ahead and add authentication classes and then we set that to empty okay so now if we come back to our slash swagger you can see that we have our documentation that we can give off to anyone and they can see how they can be able to interact with our api so on here you can be able to come and you try it out and uh, yeah you get the server to respond which is pretty cool so so that's how you enable swagger now you can also use the redoc version so i'm gonna do redoc and you can see that it also is the same but it is documented differently now that's gonna be it you may find some use cases where the the initial setup may not work for you so every time something doesn't really work for you when setting up documentation make sure you come over here and you read up with the like configuration so one URL that I would like to show you is this one for, for JSON or YAML format. 
so this allows you to export basically our documentation into json and that can be exported or imported in other in other documentation tools so here i'm gonna change this from swagger to swagger.json okay and then if we go to our application now if we come here in our app and we go to slash swagger.json you can start we get a json file downloaded here so i'm going to open it up and this contains the specification for our api so to bring out our documentation into our postman what we want is we want to go to file then we want to click on import so over here we can drag and drop our file here but also we can use a link so here in the link we can bring in our json file which we can find at uh, we can bring in our json file which you can find at our site slash swagger.json like you saw so swagger.json if you click continue here you can see that it gets it it can detect the format it's in and it's going to be imported in as a documentation then i'm going to click import so that's going to go ahead and create a correction if you don't know what a correction is it's just a way for postman to organize your your api requests so i'm gonna close here and now over here you can see that it's gonna go ahead and refresh and in our apis we have this to do api so i can click on it and down here i can click on our documentation and uh, you can go ahead and explore more here so as you can see this is what we had in the Swagger ui and uh, this is just another way that you can use to basically look at how the api is documented so we also get a correction created which is now here and we can go ahead and test out all our endpoints without having to really copy one by one so that's gonna do it for this video if you guys have any questions regarding this please be sure to leave them in the comments i will check them out thanks for watching and have a good day